Welcome back to Peace, Love and Tarot. This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon or Rising. And Taurus, this is your weekly reading for January 13th to the 19th. This week we have the Trust the Niggle Oracle card. We have the energy of death. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Tower, the beautiful Star energy, Knight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. So Taurus, I have to say it is an intense reading. It is a powerful one. We have three major arcana here and as you know you know the more major arcana the more significant the event and the more closely it links to our karmic contracts our life lessons and that kind of thing so we do have the energy of a cycle ending but the good news is we have the beautiful star energy which is your calm after the storm to really help you heal quickly and get on with a beautiful new future so i'm going to start out by reading out your oracle cards guys now we have Trust the Niggle, so I'll just start off with that one. I've got another one behind there that jumped out with it. So um, I'll just start with this one here and then I'll explain the one behind it. What is that niggling feeling trying to tell you? That annoying niggling feeling, that inconvenient annoying niggling feeling. Try as you might, it's there. It's not going anywhere. Most people spend years ignoring their niggling feelings, throwing their best do dollops of stubbornness, ego and post-rationalization to numb them out. It's exhausting. And until you face the niggle, life just throws you more bait to awaken it. To draw your attention to the light within you that is bursting to come out. The niggle is an arrow pointing to what is standing in your way. The relationship, the conversation, the decision, the shift that needs to be made, the stone in your shoe. Well, Taurus, I mean, we definitely have the tower to help you bring that situation to light to help you reveal that you know if you have been having an intuition that something's off in a situation um, and you know maybe some of you might have chosen to ignore that for a certain period of time that's usually why we see a tower coming in because sometimes the universe has to intervene and step in now the trust and eagle card actually came out with break the chain uh, in reverse which is about ancestral patterns healing rewriting the future with break the chain in reverse guys for me this means that there's potentially a cycle um, or past you know story or, or belief or pattern that needs to be broken and potentially you've been rewrite reliving that cycle so it really is time to release that so that could look like you know attracting the same kind of relationship that is you know limiting in some way or destructive you know a pattern of self-sabotage and work and business um, you'll know what it is for you so it really is time guys to trust that intuition so I'm going to start here with the five of pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. So I'm really feeling here that roller coaster cycle of being stuck in a self-limiting pattern. So this is probably the train that needs to be broken. So the Five of Pentacles can be the either the mentality or the situation and experience of lack. And sometimes when we get stuck in that period of lack, it breeds more lack. You know, it's that law of attraction. It's really, really hard sometimes when we're feeling hard done by or we've suffered in a situation to change our energy and when we don't change our energy we often end up just reattracting the same experience and then wondering why and feeling like the victim like these guys here i mean these people have um you know injuries and no shoes and they're cold and they're probably hungry as well but they're passing the beautiful refuge of the church but they don't see it because they're so consumed by their own pain and misery and loss and, you know, the key really is here is that by seeing the bigger picture, you know, that's when we can shift our perspective and that's when we can bring light to situations that we might not be seeing and actually change them for the better. That's when we can change our reality. It can also indicate a distance from the higher self, from our sense of spirituality as well, because the church is the hierophant. So some of us may need to reconnect to that energy to help guide us forward. Now, the Five of Pentacles can talk about financial hardship. Some of you might have had a debt situation. Some of you might have been stuck in a cycle of debt. You know, maybe you just start recovering from it and then, you know, you feel com compelled to spend again or you might have a, have a partner who is bad with money. Um, it can also be, you know, losing a home or having to continually move and feel like you're never getting anywhere in that department. 
because the pentacles are about our physical, tangible reality. Maybe it is a bit about, you know, keeping on going through partners because you just can't find the right relationship. Maybe some of you are attracting people that are, you know, manipulative or abusive in some way. I'm very sorry if any of you uh, are in that cycle. The Two of Pentacles in this situation really indicates to me that stuck pattern of, you know, continually, sometimes luck is up a little bit, then sometimes it's down. But either way, we're just keeping on juggling just juggling and trying to keep steady, trying to keep stable, but that balance always shifts and sometimes, you know, we find ourselves more off kilter than on. That affects our emotional balance, a sense of stability and a sense of feeling grounded as well. So I feel like that pattern for some of you has probably been going on for a while and I'm probably talking years here because we do have that ancestral pattern card here. It's really time to bring clarity to the situation, Taurus, and to see things for what they are because this is how we can see you know, into the situation and begin rewriting the future. But this week the universe is stepping in, guys. I mean, look at this for a huge whammy here the tower and the death card so this really is the universe stepping in and saying well if you don't do it if you don't end it i will so it all comes down to that trusting the niggle some of you have intuitively known that there needs to be an ending in a situation for some time but you've carried on with it and that's when the tower falls because you know things come to a head and the universe steps in to create a situation where the situation actually um, falls down because it was built on a shaky foundation anyway. So the tower brings down false constructs. It can be a massive revelation where you see things for exactly how they are and realize that you can't be involved with it anymore. Um, it can be a chaotic event, a big argument, um, a loss of a job, somebody ending a relationship that kind of thing. But it is a blessing in disguise because the situation, Taurus, is no longer a fit for you. This is your crown, a round crown, and this is a square tower. And there's no way you can make those two fit unless something fundamental would change. We have that with the death energy, guys. So for some of you, I can't rule out that potentially you might hear of somebody passing this week as well. I just have to say it as it is here, it is possible, I you know, hope not, but that can be indicated by this combination here as well. Um, the death card, you know, is that complete, you know, clearing of the slate. It really is a cycle that needs to be brought to a close so that a new beginning can happen because, you know, there's nothing more certain than the cycle of death and rebirth. But if we hang on and we don't surrender when things need to pass, that's when we become stuck and stagnant and we hold ourselves back. Because that situation, that relationship, that job, that toxic friendship is holding energetic space and it's stopping from the things that are truly in alignment with you from coming in. But you will be able to look back on this Taurus and join the dots and see that it was actually a blessing because it's going to lead you to, you know, your true path. That's what the tower does, but it does do it in quite a dramatic way that can feel painful and a little bit traumatic at the time and chaotic. But the death promise is true transformation in your internal and external world. And it does promise a new dawn, a new day as well with that sun energy ready to eclipse the darkness. So it is intense energy guys but it's here for a reason. It's going to help you break down and heal an ancestral pattern that could be, you know, could have been hanging around and repeating for decades even. But what I'm really excited about is that the star energy, you know, is here to be your calm after the storm because the, t the star energy directly follows on from the death card in the tarot deck. Um, sorry, from the, from the tower, I should say. That's because this is the calming energy that comes in to help you heal, to restore, to renew. So you actually have the perfect transition here to have a tower because it's saying it's probably going to be short and sharp and that healing is going to start immediately afterwards. Now, the star energy is about finally bringing that sense of emotional balance, balancing the waters of life and stability and groundedness into your life 
after a period where it's just been, you know, up and down, up and down, a real roller coaster. Uh, the star talks about, you know, becoming grounded and earthed again, even though, you know, you might be feeling, you know, naked, vulnerable, stripped bare. You've really peeled your onion. There's nowhere to hide with the star card. It's really about, you know, healing at a very deep and fundamental level. But that's what's required to break a cycle and to rewrite the future. That full pattern has to be completely ripped away. It also talks about energetic healing here. We have the link to the seven chakras with those little white stars. So it's a great time to really think about what makes you feel, um, you know, fully grounded. Maybe getting some energy healing or walks in nature. Anything that makes you feel good and makes you feel grounded. We have the beautiful star here too though guys, which really means that you will be guided through this. Because the tower actually is a card of divine intervention as well. So it's saying, you know, the universe is saying, let me bring down the tower and then, then let me guide you forward. Really is a beautiful energy. I really love the star, guys. And then after that, Taurus, full speed ahead, back on the horse and charging off into a new beginning. Now, the Knight of Wands is about rediscovering your enthusiasm and your passion for life again. Can be a passionate offer or message coming in. Can be reconnecting with your spiritual energy after being sort of in that spiritual desert for some time. The Knight of Wands talks about new manifestations because we have the three sand dunes here and the threes in tarot always indicate that spark or seed of new beginning of new manifestation. And there is a sense of, you know, pace and gusto and enthusiasm with this card. So I don't think you'll be wasting any time and moving on. It's all about forward movement. So even though this is quite a dramatic reading, guys, it is, you know, quick, short, sharp, you know, earthquake of whatever's going to happen with that tower, healing, and I feel like the healing process isn't going to take too long either, and then it's just like, right, well, I'm good to go now, I, that's exactly what I needed, and I'm on that horse, and I'm charging forward, I've got no time to waste, it's on to that new beginning, so it's a really beautiful energy to end on. I think, think you're going to be feeling more energized and better than what you have done in years, actually. Could even be a fire sign coming in to help you transition in some way or bring that new opportunity to you. So that would be an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius. So Taurus, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, I do wish you all the best with, with what could actually be an intense week for some of you. But just keep in mind, it's not until you look back and join the dots with hindsight that we can understand why these things happen in our lives and you know you're going to end up in a better position than you were before so Taurus just keep in mind it is a general reading I'm not saying it's going to play out like this for anyone um, yeah, I did mention the possibility for even physical passing that could just be for for one person um, so please don't you know worry about that or, or be anxious or anything it's just that sometimes the energy is there for that um, so it's general reading, it won't be for every one of you guys. Feel free to leave me a comment because I always like to know how it's playing out in your daily life. And I'll see you back here next week for another reading.